So, we're at Cadwell Park, great day of testing today. Um, everyone's had a couple of sessions, but um, spot the obvious. The VBOS car suffered a failure yesterday. Unfortunately, the radiator suffered damage, which uh, we lost all coolant, uh, ended up cooking the engine, no compression whatsoever. So the new engine arrived with us last night about 10 o'clock, um, and we've been working like crazy to get uh, the new engine in and running. Uh, as you can hear in the background, it's purring away. So, fingers crossed. So the car um, felt pretty good actually, track feels good, I think we've got um, better tyres on, the engine feels strong. Mm. So are we, we're P11 aren't we I think for the start? Something like that at the yeah. moment, yeah, so fairly into the front to be honest. So we're underway here at Cadwell Park for the six hour KA Enduro race, um, but unfortunately five laps in um, the car suffered a misfire. Uh, so we had to bring it in and it ended up being a coil pack. So that's been replaced, car's gone back out and uh, Mark has reported that uh, the car feels okay. Yeah, the start was good. Um, the driving sounds were pretty good at the start actually. You know, there was a lot of really close racing at the start and everyone was giving each other just enough room. It was, it was pretty tight. Well, it feels like if I get in the slipstream in another car, I don't really pull it behind it. And yeah, I, got, I was getting overtaken a lot down the fast bit. So out of turn two, three, down that long straight, if a car was anywhere near the back of me, they would be alongside me by the braking zone at, um, where you get onto third. So yeah, I was just really trying to be consistent. Actually trying to find space and kind of just get on behind someone and just get a bit of a slipstream and try and just be consistent. Because it's tricky when you're not, not really racing for position as such. Mm. You just think, I'm not going to risk the car for a fight that I don't really need to be in. Couple, couple moments at um, Gooseneck, where uh, with less grip than I was expecting, mid corner, went a bit wide. Uh, had um, a few cars tangled up in front of me a couple of times to, um, to try and avoid. Reasonably consistent pace, dicing with traffic a bit. Um, but I know I was a long way down for a lot of stint on the cars ahead, so any sort of fights going on weren't my battle as such. So, so I don't want to get held up, but also I don't want to, uh, to risk anything. So. Yeah, happy with how I did, kept brought the car home. So just done the stop for the third drive to go in, which is Deborah. Um, we done a uh, full tank of fuel, uh, obviously the driver change. Uh, unfortunately, in her first couple of laps, um, she's had an incident. And it has caused the radiator to become damaged, so we've another loss of coolant. Um, so the car had to come in for a brand new radiator, but it's all been done, car's back out, and hopefully not too much time lost. Even though I had a massive wobble, I collected myself, thanked the team over there for doing what they've done, and I just went out, got on with it, and I was consistent again, and I couldn't be more proud of myself from that, because that was wild. Because <laughs> quite the cars are close together, and I remember car number seven having contact with me. And that just wound me up. And then after that, I just seemed to get in the zone. So I had quite a lot of cars around me and it was a case of just getting comfortable with it because after that safety car, a lot of people um, huddled up and there was a couple of cars that I started following. And then what I noticed is the car started lacking power because I noticed my lap time started coming down. I was like, hold on a minute, this doesn't feel right. So um, I was, chatting with Ollie and then Ollie told me to come in and they've checked it over so I think it's a case of check with John when he's done a few laps and just see how the car is. I love Cadwell, I think it's my new favourite track actually. Definitely the last 20 minutes was a massive challenge for me. Sort of. Uh, any communication on the radio is a, was a really nice encouragement, so that sort of gave me that extra push to uh, to go through. And I think I, I think I put in a a 201 right at the end, which was which was nice. So yeah, but probably one of the hardest things I've done, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my knob came off uh, halfway around, and I had to do a few gear changes like this. 
Uh, luckily, I kept hold of it, so I just jammed it between my legs and got on the radio to Ollie. I was like, how do I put my knob back on? So he, uh, he just said to give it a big whack. So I <laughs> saw someone had uh, put the car on its roof. Um, it must have happened either one or two laps before the end, which is quite unfortunate. Luckily, we kept it on all four, though. We ended up coming 23rd, which is a great result considering how bleak it was looking uh, yesterday evening. Um, and it looks like we've got some work to do back at the workshop ready for the next round in Donington.